Hey guys, it's your girl Karen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hi my Aquariuses. Um, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen, and I am excited to welcome you to my channel. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when another video is going to be uploaded. I do want to let you know this reading is a general reading. This reading may or may not resonate with you, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, the roles of this reading may be reversed, so apply yourself as you see fit. Okay, so let's get started. So let me explain how I do my readings. Um, I do my readings uh, with your feelings first, Aquarius. Then I go over your partner's feelings or energy. And then I do the mutual energy uh, between the two of you. And yes, this reading is for the first half of August 2020. So August 1st through August 15, 2020. If you want to get the ending of the month, please come back for future videos. All right, let's get started. So right off the bat, I do pull my cards so I can pray and meditate over the cards so I can get the purest um, determination of the messages the Spirit has laid out for you in this reading. Um, and then also, too, I pull more cards and then we dig a little bit deeper. So let's start with Aquarius. What are you feeling? So right now we have Queen of Swords. This is so you. This is definitely an air energy, okay? Um, this person, this Queen of Swords, reads boss. This is someone who is intelligent, someone who knows what's happening before you come to her with any BS, okay? So if you are coming to this Queen of Swords, you better come correct or don't come at all. That's definitely that type of energy. But this is someone who also uh, seeks truth about something, okay? Someone who, you know, is... Is, is very firm on their beliefs, okay? Then we have the High Priestess, okay? So for the High Priestess, you are talking about someone who has a thirst for knowledge, someone who has the, the mystery. You know, there could be secrecy here. Uh, it's a higher power, higher being, you know, desirability, okay? Then we have the Hierophant, which can include marriage, commitment, conformity, uh, traditional values, religion, okay? Then we have the Six of Wands, which talks about success, okay? Victory, success in a situation, okay? So let's break this down just a little bit. So for my gathering, you know, my Aquarius is, because I'm also Aquarius, um... I wanted to I wanted to let you know that right now you guys are in a state of you know self-awareness. You are becoming more aware about a particular situation. It seems to me that you are seeking some type of truth in this connection. Okay? Or maybe there have been some secrets, okay, within this connection that you are now um, aware of. So you are in this mode right now of if you're not going to come correct, don't come at all kind of situation, okay? Then you have the Hierophant here. So this, this situation can include a marriage, okay? Or a partnership or a commitment um, between you and this connection. So this is telling me that this connection is definitely a divine connection. You guys have a spiritual connection to each other, okay? And then we have the Six of Wands here. So whatever it is that you are seeking, whatever truth you are looking for, um, whatever answers you desire, that is coming your way, okay? You are going to get clarity in this situation, okay? So let's go ahead and go over your partner's feelings and what came out as the first card, the King of Swords. This is someone who is strong. This one's someone with authority. This is someone who knows what they want, okay? This is, this is someone who also is very... Um, I stand my ground, okay, kind of personality. However, if you noticed in yours, both cards, both cards came out, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue-tied. But, you know, what this tells me, this is your divine counterpart, okay? This is a soulmate connection, okay? You know, like I said, this could be a marriage situation, okay? Or a, a strong, very, very strong and spiritual um, connection, okay, or commitment. So I'm getting here your King of Swords. 
or your partner is is waiting you know he's waiting for results he's waiting for something to happen so there may be a standstill in this connection where right currently maybe there's a separation or maybe there is no communication right now with this connection but you see these flames this person has passion for you Aquarius this person is waiting for you as you can see this person stands there with their board with their feet grounded but they're waiting for that perfect wave to come to ride that wave they are waiting for you they have that passion for you okay and then here we have the ten of wands and I think this represents you Aquarius this is you walking away from from a situation you know this may have been a burden on you therefore you decided hey you know what if you're not going to come correct don't come at all type of energy you know um with the situation so something here you know there has been some secrets or something that was someone wasn't truthful or maybe your partner wasn't truthful and you're just not having it you want this person to be honest with you okay because the queen of swords is someone who seeks honesty and you know in in their lives or anyone that surrounds them so you know if you look at this card here too you know it's almost like you're walking away but you're, you're walking away okay this person knows that you are seeking justice okay in the situation this person knows they have to come forward and give you the truth okay and this is the energy that i'm getting here okay this person knows that they did you wrong in some way the energies i'm getting here we have water entry water energy which is pisces cancer scorpio we also have air energy which is aquarius gemini libra and we definitely also have some uh fire energy here which is aquarius i'm sorry aries leo and sagittarius okay so for the mutual energy i have the fool and the fool is someone who just takes is hopeful takes a leap of faith very optimistic just jumps right into a situation okay without thought this means new beginnings, okay? So this situation is something that, you know, if whatever's on your mind, if it's if it's something that you were worried about, if this connection is going to work out or not, it is going to work out. It just has to go through a cycle. To me, what I'm seeing here, as you can see with the seven of pentacles here, you, you or your partner or both are manifesting each other back into each other's lives. But when you do come back into each other's lives, you both are going to have a new beginning because you both are going to be working on yourselves to bring that energy to the relationship. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify a little bit further as to what the outcome is going to be. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know after shuffling the deck to the hangman. So you guys are just in a hangman state right now. You guys are figuring things out this is that type of energy that i am getting from this connection okay so let's figure out what the outcome is going to be for this connection spirits what is the outcome here one more card spirit what is the outcome here okay one more card spirit what is the outcome here Oops, there we go okay sorry that's more cards than one spell what is the outcome here what is the outcome here there we go. I'll take that one. Okay. All right. So the first card that fell out was the three of pentacles. This is showing me teamwork. Okay. That you guys are ready, ready and willing or someone in this connection is ready and willing to put in the work in this relationship. Okay. You can see here you have husband, wife, or uh, boyfriend girlfriend and then you have a child here in the situation but it's teamwork there is teamwork here and you guys are going to be putting in the work in this relationship then we have the knight of cups this to me represents your partner this to me represents this is a, a, an energy that someone's coming in to offer you love okay love is coming your way aquarius whether it's this partner or a new partner but there will be love but it, to me and what spirits is telling me in this connection this is something that will work itself out there will be love in this connection there will be truth in this connection there will be honesty in this connection okay so i'm going to go ahead and clarify with the love angels here as to what is going on with this connection so yes you know you know, I always say this, um, I say this in a couple of my readings, but you know, I always say that whether you guys work this out or you decide not to work this out, it's still a resolution. You guys are coming to some sort of clarity in your 
connection in your situation but this bond here is a soulmate energy connection like you guys are destined to be together okay let's clarify this energy let's clarify this energy let's clarify it. Ooh. all right thank you spirits we have codependency we have engagement let's clarify this energy Ooh. two more cards came out and i'm gonna take that okay all right, so here we have engagement. Your life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So yeah, like I was telling you guys, you know, this is a situation where something happened, you know, and you guys are just figuring it out at this moment. But, you know, you guys are working on yourselves, okay? And it seems like you guys are working on yourselves apart because your partner is showing that, you know, they are in a space of waiting for you. Uh, but once you are both done working on yourself, once you both complete that cycle, you guys will become come together whole. Okay, so yeah, that's what I get when I read engagement. Then we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I see this being your partner coming towards you, wanting to make a romantic gesture. Hence, we have the Knight of Cups here, just like I said. You know, this is your partner coming towards you, you know, wanting to make things right, okay? Because your partner knows this is a divine connection, okay? They want to put in that work. Then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So just like I said here, you know, you have the high priestess card here, some type of secrecy, something happened here um, in this connection where someone wasn't being honest. And, you know, you're at this mo this point where you are seeking the truth about a situation. But Spirit is telling you to go ahead and have faith, trust and believe this connection will work and you will get that trust that you are looking for, okay? Just have faith. Then we have here, express your love. Go ahead and make the romance gesture. Um, I believe I just read that. So let's go back to codependency. Okay, so this was the last card that flew out. It was codependency. And it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so that might be the secret here. Maybe someone here is battling a, an addiction, um, but or maybe you guys are just really, really codependent on each other. I'm get I'm getting that type of energy because, like I said, the king of king of swords and the queen of swords. This is a divine connection. This is two people who are destined to be together. This is soulmate energy. This is almost like twin flame energy. Okay. But you guys have have a very, very, very strong bond. Let's go ahead and clarify with some advice from the Moonology Oracle deck. So there might be a pause or a break here right now in this connection. At the bottom of the deck, you know, you have that hangman energy at the bottom of the deck. But I definitely feel like... Um, you know, this is a connection that will be brought back together. There is going to be some reconciliation here. And I do see you foresee your partner coming towards you. You know, they may be moving a little slow to come towards you. Uh, but deep down, they know they owe you justice. Deep down, they know they owe you answers. They owe you that clarity. And they're coming because they know you're their soulmate. You're their counterpart in life. Okay. Let's go ahead and some messages here what is the advice here spirits some advice please for my clearances some advice please for my clearances some advice please for my clearances Ooh, there we go yeah so adjustments are required is what came up so yeah like i said you know you guys are working on yourselves right now but over time, you guys will come together. This might be sooner than later, okay? But your partner does realize that you are their divine counterpart in life. They do realize you are their soulmate. But they're, making, they're working on themselves. They're working on themselves right now. They are definitely working on themselves. So we have some more cards that fell out too. So they do have some, some more messages. So we have four cards that came out from Spirit. So I'm going to take them all. We have conclusions are within reach. 
So like I said, yep, you're, you guys are going to get that clarity that you're looking for. But just give it some time. Have patience. The divines are working on you and your partner. So that way you guys can come together and be whole for one another. Okay. Then we have your commitment is being tested. Okay. So this could be a test. This could be spirits just testing you both out to see how strong this connection really is. But I think deep down inside, you both know that you guys are meant to be together. And for the last message from spirits here, we have um, from the Moonology deck, I should say, is a time to give rather than take. Okay, so maybe someone in this connection was taking more than the other or giving more to the other than receiving the same in return. So, you know, you might need balance in this relationship. You know, that's probably what you are seeking as well. Or maybe your partner is seeking that. So this this connection is calling for balance. Let's go ahead and close out with a message from the Wild Offering Oracle. Let's go ahead and close out. Aquas, I know you're a very strong-minded individual. Um, but you will get through this. They know your worth. They know you're worth it. One more message. Ooh, that flew up fast. The message here is empowerment. Okay? Empowerment. So when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love. What wants your wholeness and magnification, no, magnificence, I'm sorry, unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. So yeah, like I said, you guys are working on yourselves, okay? And mainly you, Aquarius, you're really, really working on yourself right now. You're focused on, you know, being a better you, building self-love for you. That way that your partner knows, again, if they are not going to come right, they need not to come at all. Okay, and I think you both know, though, that this is definitely a divine counterpart connection. This is a true soulmate connection. And, you know, I think the, even if you try to run away from it, to be honest, this is what spirit is telling me, you know, you guys will always find your way back to each other. This is a definitely a, a divine connection. I wanted to show you guys this again before we close out. This is a divine connection okay well thank you guys thank you so much if you have any comments uh questions or comments leave them down in the comment section below um if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell for further notifications well thank you so much bye mm -hmm.